reconciliations are down on the accounting on the left hand side you might have to check something off if it's the first time you've been in there to say i want to reconcile it might try to sell you on bank feeds or something but we've already set them up so we're good to go so then we want to go down to this one and usually the default is that we're reconciling a cash account one of the cash accounts up top the bank accounts but remember that we can reconcile in the same fashion the financial accounts the credit card credit card debt credit card debt credit account so that's where we're going to go credit card by the way if you're in the business view the credit card uh, reconciliation is going to be under the uh, bookkeeping and reconcile experts and then reconcile so there's where it is under that view just so you know so i'm going to reconcile the credit card and then i'm going to resume and i already i already set up the beginning balances if you if if it's the first time going into it you'll have the screen that'll look similar to this screen which gives you the the data that you can input now this is the problem the beginning balance needs to tie out for this thing to work it doesn't because we started the credit card balance in the middle after we had already been using it and it had this outstanding balance we're going to have to add that balance in order to reconcile so i recognize that and then as, all, as long as all the payments that or the payments of the credit card and the charges tie out if the beginning balance tied out then i should reconcile so i'm going to say all right that's that's what we're going to do the ending balance is going to be uh 52271 so hold on a second it's going to be uh yeah 52271 so let's say this is going to be 522.71 and then save that so there we have it we have our same reconciliation kind of screen that you might be used to with the bank feeds now this is the uh statement balance that's what we basically tied in here this is the cleared balance this is what's in our system the things that we have checked off this is the difference once the difference is down to zero then we are we have reconciled this isn't the reconciliation statement because this will create a statement bank reconciliation but this will be the process of reconciling once this difference is zero we're good to complete the reconciling so this number then how do i get that to match this number well the calculation is the beginning balance which is wrong because that doesn't tie out to the statement so we're gonna have to fix that because we should just basically mirror this thing up here and then the charges which is we don't have any that ties out and then the payments which are the one payment that was made from the checking account that pays it off brings us down to the 52271 now of course we're out of balance by a thousand dollars exactly because that's the beginning balance now notice that down here we've got the filters you can you could filter by cleared status transaction type payee date ranges you can go from charges to payments to everything and uh, you've got some screen filters down here that you can play with to uh, populate the screen a little bit differently give you some more space if you want but with the credit cards normally you can just check everything off because everything that's in here should be on the credit card statement and so what we're trying to do is tick and tie everything from the statement onto to the credit card uh what's in our books so usually if it were a bank statement for example for example i would go every time from from what's on the statement the financial statement to the books and if it's on the financial statement like this one the beginning balance but it's not on our books then we're going to have to add it to our books unless the financial institution is wrong if it's on our books however and it's not on the financial statement on the on the bank statement or the credit card statement then if we were doing a full service accounting system that would that could be the result of simply a timing difference meaning i entered a check as of the end of the month the bank doesn't know about it yet so it didn't clear that would be a reconciling item that would be reconciling the difference on our books to what's on the bank's books as being legitimate a legitimate difference due to the difference in understanding due to timing differences transactions that we know about but which the bank does not yet know about however with the credit card that's not going to happen because most people are constructing their 
books from the bank information, from the bank feeds, which means no matter how many transactions I have in here, I should be able to, once the beginning balance is tied out, just check this off and just check everything off. And everything should tie out to what's over here. If it doesn't, then I then I want to go through and tick and tie everything off and see what happened. Was there a double entry? Did something get entered twice? Was something not entered or something like that? Then we got to figure it out. But normally should be very easy to do if you constructed your, your books from the bank statement, which is check it all off. Now we still have this beginning balance issue. So I got to put this thing on the book somehow. I'm not so concerned with it being categorized as a beginning balance. I'm instead just going to categorize it over here so that I can just check it off down below and, and you'll see it, it'll do the same thing. So I'm not really that concerned with it not being over here on the left hand side. I just want to reconcile for the first time. I can note that on my reconciliation report, what that beginning balance is that I put it down here instead of up top and then I can move forward.